No retreat. No surrender. That is Spartan law. Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are starting a new campaign <coughs> in Imperium Surrectum mod as Spartans and with hardest difficulties and um, I think we want to cover all of the settlements. Battle of time limit is really nice and I think we will go at least initially with the long campaign. Let's see if we can uh, reach its end at the end of this series. But without further ado, let's begin. And uh, yeah, this is the first campaign episode in the mud of the month, which, well, is Imperium Surrecto. And so the idea is that the most of the versus matches, if not all, in April are from Imperius Rectum. So those suggestions that you have given me on to-do list are on hold for a while. But if you have something you want to see in this mod, feel free to uh, give those suggestions as well. Okay, so let's be ready for setbacks. Um, so we have uh, what? Three settlements. Well, that's not too much. Um, I think we will have quite a few battles already. And since this is the hardest difficulty, I'm, I'm not an expert in Imperium Surrectum, so I think at least in this campaign we will turn this extreme mode off. Okay, and yeah, I have played one campaign in this mod uh, as Romans. But it's another thing if I remember anything from that. Oh, the roads are rather expensive. Um, I think farms will be quite beneficial. Yeah, let's go with them, since I doubt that the enemy will actually be able to at least easily take Kythera, so... And perhaps we could raise taxes a bit, or rather more than a bit. Here... So, it, we cannot actually recruit anything at the moment. So, I think the pace of this campaign, at least initially, will be a bit slower because I'm getting used to the campaign mechanics here. So, what about... Okay, that's of no use. This would provide some income, but at the same time we do need some troops and actually we can train them from here. So I think we will go with Shrine to Ares. And here... Well, that's grain imports. Oh, well, we are not going to go for grain imports. What about the troops we are about to train? Are they light infantry, missile, spears, 
and Spartan Skiritai are actually light infantry. Mm, I think that Shrine to Deimos and Phobos might be beneficial. Of course, we would need that Spartan recruitment there. We don't have any stables. Well, let's go with the temple first. But I think we actually need to engage. And um, I guess there is some kind of list from which we can see against whom we are at war at the moment. So there are some rebel settlements. I'm not sure we want to engage Macedon just yet. Messenia. Of course, we need to also be opportunistic here. So if this faction has only one settlement, I think we want to... Oh, we have a spy. Settlement could would be quite nice. Um, I think we want to attack Saitidas and then inflict some damage on the garrison, but eventually we want to lock the garrison in and. Um, Of course. I think our faction leader will stay there. Let's take the army. And of course we need to train some more troops. And I think it will be those Skiritai actually, and we can actually raise taxes here as well. So we are still making losses, but not that much. Do we have any mercenaries available? Apparently not. Of course, these Macedonian settlements are rather weakly defended. So that could give us some opportunities. But I guess we will engage these guys. Okay. Um, so, this might actually become rather difficult. By the way, that looks a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, yeah, they have quite a bit better infantry. So the aim is to take down this guy and inflict as much damage here as possible while suffering as little damage as possible ourselves. So at least the light cavalry should be targeted and perhaps even the faction leader. Then again... Oh! Well, things just got quite a bit easier. So, if the balance of power is like that also in the siege battle, is a green day in the uh, it might be possible to um, take, or rather entice the enemy to charge us. And of course that would make things quite a bit easier. Though, okay. So actually Leonidas is a phalanx, or has phalanx bodyguard, that's quite nice. And yeah, there. I don't really... well, the visibility is rather bad in the night battle, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be.
and in the recent tests in original Rome we have seen that high ground can be rather devastating in most battles so perhaps we should be a bit cautious when approaching those guys. So yeah, the idea is to make some, say, 12... Oh, they are pulling back. Your victory could not have been in more doubt, hmm. then. Well, that's a bit annoying. But yeah, in any case, this campaign is planned to be about 12 episodes long. Something like that. And then I will try some... Where did it go? To the settlement. Okay, but we will besiege it. And I think we will try to starve them out. Is that bodyguard actually phalanx? Most likely it is. Well, let's see. Do we have... We have a diplomat as well. A most generous proposal. Okay, no map information then. And yes, my lord. Once. Once. Oh, leave us be. Okay. Oh, Greek city states. Okay, they don't apparently like us too much, but about these guys. A most generous proposal. Regretfully, we must decline. I think we have to be a bit careful around these city states. They might become a bit aggressive. And uh, some other campaign episodes will be about um, testing other factions shortly in the campaign setting. And also, I got almost scared already. And also make review of this mod. At the end of the month. So, how much is the upkeep? Well, not that much. Just wondering. Well, I guess we will go with the initial plan of trying to start them out. They should start taking attrition losses rather soon. Then again, I don't know if negative income affects us severely. We should have asked by here. And let's hope the Greeks will wage war against uh, Macedonians. A most generous proposal. We'll address them at once. 
A most generous proposal. A most generous proposal. Yes, master. Okay, and we have a turn. I guess I guess the ideal way to play would be to put our army into good use. So we should kind of assault Messeni as fast as possible. Okay. It seems things are happening a bit slowly at the moment. But I guess the Lokits are such a large empire that managing it takes a bit of time. The icon would indicate that the Myrans are in India. Once again, we have the free peoples of, well, not Middle Earth, but Greek Earth, I guess. And I think we should actually bring our spy back in here. Okay. Um, yeah, they are taking casualties. And I think I want to my faction leader alive. So in case Parta is assaulted by the Greek city-states, this guy has such a nice leadership and or influence and management skills that I want to keep him there. And yeah, it's going to be auto-resolve and it's going to and badly for us if we engage, so not going to engage. Mm, I think um, before engaging the Antigonid Kingdom, we need to secure some more areas in the Greek Peninsula and hope that they actually have enemies somewhere in the north, for instance. Because those couple of settlements seem like rather easy pickings, but I think the Antigone Kingdom is such a large faction that if we engage it here we may have some easy initial victories, but when they bring their full forces south here, we might be in trouble. So let's try to begin with the relatively easy pickings here. And perhaps we don't want to engage those Greek city-states either, at least initially. Okay, so... We have better generals, we lack in infantry and in cavalry. Let's see. Fire! 
you guys are not supposed to go there to melee. And I guess we want to use these guys as kind of a reserve. So, the enemy generals will likely come to face as rather soon. Yeah, you guys can move a bit faster. We need to pay close attention to those enemy generals. guys are actually our best bet to inflict some serious damage because if I remember correctly it's rather difficult to pierce the armor in this mod. So we need to try to shoot from the back. Okay, and yeah, you guys are not supposed to go there to melee, but fire. Okay, and let's hope we can actually begin to inflict some serious damage here. Okay, so at least those missile guys are routing, but we don't exactly want to hit them, but we want to break those hoplites. them. And get inside this settlement. Okay, good. They are routing. So far, so good. And yeah, you guys are not supposed to go there, but let's go in. Yeah, we don't want to actually fire at our own men. So this will most likely cause the enemy generals to pull back in here. And let's see if we could actually take the... As many of the enemies fleeing out as possible. Okay, 
and I think you guys could hurry a bit more. Okay, so that's missile cavalry. I think we need to try to buy some time for our spears to get into position before that heavy cavalry comes here. So, um, yeah. And apparently the enemy missile cavalry is actually beating our light cavalry, so... Yeah, we have some difficulties here, apparently. But I guess you guys are in position. You guys are in position. You guys are in position and it's time to... Because we don't want to lose this whole cavalry unit. So, let's hope... Oh, you guys can fire at will. Okay, the missile cavalry is breaking, I guess. So, is the enemy actually clever enough? Yes, it is to do a flank. Okay, so basically it means that these guys need to face the flanking and let's hope we can do some flanking of our own with the light cavalry. question is, could we do some maneuver with which to make things a bit easier for us? Though I guess we don't dare at the moment. Um, if we put this missile unit right here... Bodyguard is taking a bit of a beating here. So, fortunately, it's the enemy bodyguard as well. But if we fire here, we might actually hit our own troops more than the enemy. The enemy king flies from the fight. Now let us drive them all from the field. So let's try to give... Okay, um, I think we will bring Leonidas a bit more to safety. There. 
Oh, they're actually sending their whole army here. Okay. Mm. So that was not a very great plan. Apparently. So we ah, actually lost both of those units. So, these guys up. Okay, well, this just went quite messy. So, I guess they're trying to push the middle of the plaza here and hopefully taking some rather serious casualties. By the way, I perhaps would like to see the unit banners and status as well. Even though in versus matches perhaps that's not the ideal, but at least in campaigns, I think that's rather important, makes things quite a bit easier. And now we are hitting our own troops once again. The enemy king flies from the fight. Now let us drive them up. Okay. Well, I don't feel particularly heroic at the moment, but Yeah. So we lost those Chavelin men. basically and it seems well they inflicted some damage as well but yeah let's hope we actually wiped out the enemy faction here altogether because basically now we need to gather strength before we can go after the next target Okay, good. And we are even starting to make some money. A most generous proposal. Regretfully, we must decline. Yes, master. Yes, master. At once. At once. I will address them at once. A most generous proposal. Okay, so no map information. This is actually quite a big settlement as it is. Mm. 
Leprion could be one target and Olympia, of course, one. But before going there, I think we need to do some retraining. Leonidas can head that way as well. Yes, yes, Stratigos. Okay. So we need to raise a bit more money before we can continue. That Olympia would perhaps be a nice target to hit. But then again, well, yeah. Perhaps we need to do some scouting. How many settlements they actually do have. And of course, we need to retrain our troops and so on. At your service, on my okay, they have another settlement at the very least. And they have a, an army. So, Leprion will be the new primary target. And yeah, the retraining is going to take some time and it's going to cost a bit as well. So perhaps the wise thing to do is to just wait so that we can get a bit more funds and then retrain them in one bunch because not actually build that one because we need to go waiting wars and we have a new family member here yes, well Kratos can come to Sparta as well he can join actually the well perhaps not join the army One way for us to tackle with the Antigonid Kingdom 
could be to first secure a bit stronger foothold in the crease and then allying ourselves with their enemies and then hitting them in the back. That might work. A most generous proposal. A most generous proposal. Yes, master. At once. You are mistaken. Sir. Okay, and um Yes, master. Can't do it. Let's go to check that we don't have any on my way. Oh, there are two rather strong armies from the Greek city-states. Not good. So in order to retrain these, we will need 1500, 2000, about 3000, 3500, oh, 5, 6000. So, at least a couple of more turns, and I think um, we want to train another infantry unit at the same go. So, we need to wait a bit longer. So, Prasiai, Argos, Megalopolis, all three. Seems like rather lucrative opportunities. But I'm still wondering, is it a trap? Corinth, I think we could take that one too. But yeah. And another question is what those Greek city-states would do. Then again, if they decide to attack in force, I'm not sure if we have even nearly enough troops to keep them back. But at least for now, they seem to be rather content. So, after one turn, I think we will begin training new troops. And um, soon after that, or in the turn after that, we will um, uh, retrain the army. And at the moment, we most definitely don't have any funds to make any infrastructure improvements. So, wouldn't it be nice if the Antigone Kingdom and Greek city-states were to wage war? It would be just lovely to see those two big armies there somewhat depleted as well as the Antigone armies in the region. But apparently they are relatively content to stay where they are. A most generous proposal. So, a most generous proposal. We are becoming a rather strong player in the area of diplomacy, it seems. Like good historical Spartans.
So, I think mm, I think we will go with the more defensive unit type. Well, I guess, yeah, we will begin the training right now. I think our next target will be that rebel settlement in the west. I cannot quite see the name of it while the map is in this format, or rather centered that way, but I think that's the best way to go. Belfasts, Akon, Tistai, Greek Hoplites, Greek Archers. So actually relatively little infantry. We are actually rather evenly matched. So yeah, I think that looks... So who is about to win Olympics? Okay, so next turn we are going to war once again. I'm a bit worried about Sparta because it has no walls and um, that means if someone decides to backstab us we are quite vulnerable at least initially well i think overall because we are such a small faction but i guess it means that we need to be at least somewhat aggressive So, if I remember correctly from my playthrough with Rome and from the first battle as well, um, the units take casualties relatively slowly, but especially missile attacks from the rear, especially with javelins, are actually quite strong. So, let's begin the siege of Leprion. And I think we want to reinforce with those troops 
And apparently we are not retraining those guys there. So they can hold out for four turns. So no use to make any siege equipment. And we have a turn. And I'm always forgetting about my diplomat. Batavium. One of these are rebels. Was here. Yeah, I remember these guys stabbing me in the back as I was playing the Romans. So, will they sally forth? Because every turn we can besiege them will yes, make things easier. Yes, my lord. I will address them at once. A most generous proposal. Okay, so they are trading with Romans. A most generous proposal. Uh, Romans do have quite a bit of strength, it seems. So, these guys should begin to take some attrition, at least relatively soon. So we have some idle resources. Admiral, well, he cannot actually do anything useful, so he can stay idle a while longer. Oh, that's not looking good. Let's hope they don't have any army on board. And it seems the Antigonid Kingdom is actually reinforcing Prasiai, Megalopolis, and so on, so... Mm, yeah... I need to check that... that fleet. And hopefully I can see if it's carrying some troops. If it is... Well, I don't know what to do. Should I... I guess I need to break the seeds. That's quite a few ships, but my guess is that no troops on board. So we will continue the siege. And they are not actually taking any attrition damage here. Well, that's too bad. And yeah, these are different culture as well. some further troubles most likely in the case we manage to capture the settlement Were we actually able to retrain the 
light cavalry unit of ours. That became a bit depleted in the first battle. Let's check that one out as well. Now they are taking attrition. Good, that will make the battle at the beginning of next, or rather at the change of turn, a bit easier. And actually, it seems Leonidas is not our general anymore. Diplomat here. I'm not sure. Perhaps we can find some new trade partners there, but it will be a bit too much of a bother to bring him back to Greece. So I think. We need to actually control perhaps one half of the Greek peninsula so that we have strong enough uh, economy to support one full stack army and some minor garrisons. Yeah, this is really nice. So I think we want to keep those traveling men as reserve when the infantry engages in earnest so that we can hit the enemy in the back while our slingers and archers are free to fire especially against the enemy missile units and then our infantry needs to hold the line. This is actually going pretty much as planned. Oh, that's not going as planned. And now we have the Greek hop lights coming. They are taking some nice damage over there.
Oh. Well, that was... Nice volley of spears, it seems. Are fleeing, and it seems that Leonidas might even survive to fight another day. And yeah, I think you guys can cease fire. Now let's see if we could actually get in. Seems we have some missile cavalry coming. Missiles! 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 
think this time we will try to protect the flank with a proper spear unit. So... I think it's actually time to advance a bit. Oh, good, honest Rome Total War music. I'm not quite firing as much as I would like you to fire. Which means that our infantry is taking a bit of beating because of that. So we should be able to punch through. These guys are for once holding and doing actually relatively okay. The enemy 
general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. But in battle, it is beyond belief. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. And yeah, you guys can go that way. And our archers. Yeah, prefer, uh, preferably not firing at all troops. And I think that's quite enough from you. Clear victory. Well, that's actually a bit nicer victory than the first one. Okay, so for once we are making money. Hey, let's hope that settlement will rebel. It would make a nice addition to our empire. Well, perhaps empire is a bit too optimistic, at least for now. So Leonidas will actually take charge of this settlement. And perhaps we need to leave one unit to help out so that we can, well, raise taxis. Let's actually leave two units. Okay. So, culture is going to cause some problems in here. Um, well, that increased tax is always nice. Sophie's will be, I think, a rather tough nut to crack. But that's going to be our next target. And retraining the troops will cost... 1,000... 2,000... Two and a half, three and a half, about three and a half thousand, and then we need to have one more infantry unit, so basically at least five thousand. So we need to wait for five turns or four turns and then begin training this guy and then in the next turn beginning retraining the rest of the troops um, but I think this is everything for today so thank you very much for watching if you like the content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel feel free to post comments give advice that's actually advice is especially welcome as I feel I'm not fully in in this mod so if you have some tips and tricks I could use here feel free to share them and have a great rest of the day quality old games out